Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's get straight into it. I want to show you guys a series of moves that can be done at the elbow or the wing um, that are good for all ages. This is good for you know a younger kid that's maybe a beginner all the way up to your high school or college level kids for three reasons. One, this is these are going to be moves that are really good for your footwork. So you're going to really work on the proper technique, maybe coming off a down screen or just on the catch. Number two, is it's gonna teach you to be efficient with your dribbles. So as you know, as you get older, you play against better defenders, the game becomes quicker, more athletic, you have to be efficient with your moves and your dribbles. And number three is it's gonna offer some counters to, you know, once the defense does take away some of your moves, you have counters to go to. So here you see the first move is just a simple inside foot catch and shoot. I think this is important just to teach the proper technique. Um, we teach our players as they're coming off down screens or maybe on that catch, if they can inside foot pivot, that's probably going to be quicker, a little bit more efficient, and probably help them be on balance. So that's the way we teach guys coming you know, to the elbow. Some coaches might disagree. You, know, you might teach your players to hop into their shot, or you might teach your players to do more reverse pivots. Whatever works for your team and, and is something that you practice, I encourage you to do. We teach this because we feel like it's a little bit quicker and that's a shot that kids need to be able to make. Now the second move is gonna be a counter to that. So once the defense takes away that shot, you have to be able to give a good shot fake or ball fake and rip down the line into a score. So you math majors know the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So we really try to teach straight line drives or straight line cuts. So on that ball fake, you'll turn and you'll rip down the line into a score. Now, should be able to get there in one dribble, um, and then on the second move, we'll teach maybe two dribbles into a shot fake. So again, that's going to be the counter to this move. But here you'll see, very important to watch a player's footwork on this. Make sure they don't travel. A lot of kids will travel. They'll they'll you know dribble and or sorry they'll lift that pivot foot before they put the ball down. So really important that you really watch that they're putting the ball down before they lift that pivot foot into their move. Now the best thing to focus on with the shot fake move or the ball fake is to make it look like your actual shot. So oftentimes I see a lot of kids rush through, like here you can see this player kind of rushing through his move. I would go back and, and try to get this player to focus on, make it look like your shot. Um, the more you can make it look like your shot, it may feel like you're going too slow, but that's gonna get the defense to react more often. Um, now here again, we add the jump stop at the basket. So. Again, this is kind of game-like where a defender might go for that first fake, but then he's going to be sprinting back. He's going to be trying to recover. So if you come to a jump stop and give him a shot fake, then you can get him up in the air, get an and one, or you know let him fly by and make a layup. But again, two, two really good players to go back and watch would be Paul Pierce and Kobe Bryant. I, I think they're excellent at using shot fakes, and their shot fakes look like their shot. And they're not super fast. They're they're more deliberate and slow. And they get the player to react or get their hips forward. And then they're able to get by. The next move is going to be a counter towards the middle. So again, maybe that defender takes away the shot or they take away your straight line rip. You have to be able to go towards the middle. Now you saw there the kid shuffled his feet. So it's super important that you focus on the proper footwork here. Make sure they're still coming on that inside foot but they need to put the dribble down before they lift that pivot foot. You see a lot of kids travel with this move. So if, if a defender's taking away that strong hand, they have to be able to go to the weak side or go towards the middle. So we go back and we focus on the proper technique here. So again, watch their inside foot, make sure they're putting it down before they travel and make sure that they can go both ways off this elbow move. So same thing. Now this, this one's gonna be a little bit easier for your right-handed players is they're coming to their right hand, inside foot, and then they're able to rip and go towards the middle. So this one will be a little bit easier for your right-handed players, but still, still important that you focus on the proper footwork and not traveling going into their move. Now this last move is probably my favorite. This is when you're playing against a really good defender who's not going for those initial ball fakes and is doing a really good job of cutting you off on your drive to the basket. You're gonna use their momentum against them and spin off them for a layup towards the inside. So again, you go through the same sequence inside foot. You want to give a fake, that straight line rip towards the baseline, and then use that defender's momentum, spin off his body, and finish towards the middle. 
And the last key to any offensive drill, I think, is just to master the footwork, master the fundamentals. I know this seems like maybe, you know, four simple, easy moves. But, again, if you can master these moves and be really good at them, you really have something to go to no matter how the defense guards you. So, again, if they back off, you have a jump shot to go to. They take away your straight line drive. You have adjustments. You have counters that, that can go at whatever the defense throws at you. And, again, I highly encourage coaches to make adjustments, make you know your own adaptations based off your players or your offense to this drill that are going to be moves that maybe you want your players to do. You know these are these are moves that we want our players to work on and get really good at. So I hope this is something that can help you in your practices and your workouts, just to get better at the fundamentals of footwork and really be efficient with your dribbles.